this video is to tell you what are the three things that you should focus on in your last 10 days to MBCT. I mean, do these three things apart from what you normally do. Your normal preparation should go on. But yes, you can focus on these three things a little bit more as and when you come closer to the exam. The first is uh, analyze the mock that you've already written, past mock analysis. What happens is um, we tend to repeat our mistakes. So normal because we are habituated to some particular behavior. So we tend to go to that same behavior and therefore we repeat our mistakes. One way to avoid them is to know about your mistakes. I mean, these are the mistakes that normally commit. And because you're aware about the mistakes, it's easier to avoid them. So spend more time as in when you come closer to the exam to analyze the previous mocks you've already written and check out your mistakes that you've done so that you can ensure that you don't repeat them in the actual exam. Also, when you analyze the previous mock, focus on two things. One is the strategy that you've adopted. I mean, which strategy worked, which strategy did not work, how do you plan the paper? Very important because that makes or breaks in the actual exam. So go through your strategy, see is, is there any modification required based on your past experience or what are the alternate strategies that you can perform for different scenarios of the exam. And second is look at important questions. There are some questions you might have found important, different or something on like that. You want to go through it again, some good methods. Go through those questions. Okay, these are what you should do as far as post hoc analysis. The first thing. Second, I normally recommend people to practice reasoning questions in the as and when you come closer to exam. Maybe logical, maybe abstract, maybe verbal. Normally, what I mean, these improve your practice. The more you practice with this, the better you become. Okay, um, what happens is patterns. I mean, you've known people who play chess. Normally, it is said that anyone with five years of practice, any average person with five years of practice can be a grandmaster. I mean, just that he has to keep on practicing, so automatically pattern form is in his mind and movement pattern form in his mind, he'll be able to, you know, play chess, even blindfolded, because the pattern is there. Same with reasoning. The more you practice, it's like puzzles, the more you practice, the pattern form in your mind, okay, and it normally improves the practice, okay. Uh, if you don't practice, you tend to, you know, lose touch on it and you tend to go slow. So it's important that you keep practicing as and when you come close to the exam. I mean, that's one area you should not stop practicing. Okay. And ensure that you be on a regular touch with reasoning type of questions as and when you come closer to the exam. Third part I would recommend strongly is reading. I mean, reading has multiple benefits as far as the exam is concerned. You can read what you enjoy reading, but keep reading till the exam. Why? I mean, um, at least half an hour reading is important. What happens is the moment you read on a regular basis and you're able to comprehend questions quickly. I mean, I have known students who are, you know, find reading a little tough and they take longer time to comprehend questions because of which they tend to waste time. Remember, CT is a speed based exam. The faster you go is better, which automatically means that if you can comprehend the language, what questions are given faster, the better it is. And remember, the language is English. So it's better that you are able to comprehend English language and reading normally helps. So keep reading for half an hour daily. Reading not only helps in your comprehension, but also helps in your verbal section. A lot of grammar questions, vocab questions, you tend to solve using subconscious mind. Oh, this is the blank, oh, this should be the answer because I've read it somewhere or because my subconscious mind tells me that this could be the answer. It's like a pattern formation in the reasoning. The more you read, the more you form pattern with regards to language structures, and the better you'll be able to answer. Normally, when you speak, when you, when you write exams, etc., the language is automatically formed. You don't have to consciously think, oh, this should be a grammar, this should be noun, this should be pronoun as such. Because it is subconscious mind that plays a role. And the more you read, the better language is formed in your subconscious mind, and the better you'll be able to un answer in the examination. So reading is another important part of it. So try to follow these three things apart from your normal preparation. I'm sure it will help you. We'll come up with more videos that will help you with regards to CT exam. All the best.